show you how to fix a car that's stuttering while you're driving. As you can see here while you're driving, it's stuttering and pausing. Now the first thing of course is to check for codes, but unfortunately in this case, the check engine light isn't lit up. It's not coming on when the car is running. And when I hooked up a scan tool, as you can see, there's no codes found, so this isn't going to help us. Now you could ask the cat, but she seems more interested in cleaning herself. Now this vehicle does have 123,298 miles on it, so basically it's time to be logical. I asked the customer, have you ever had this thing tuned up, the spark plugs changed? And she said, not to her knowledge. So we'll start by checking them. Always start with the most basic things like that. Now I know people are going to think, Scotty, isn't the computer supposed to find all the problems? Well, in one word, no. They'll only find problems when they reach a certain parameter, like if they're off more than 25%. If you get minor glitches, a lot of times the computer won't trip any codes, so it's no help in figuring out what's wrong. So we'll go under the hood and get to the spark plugs. We have to unplug the coil unplug, take it out and get the spark plugs out. So we unplug the coil here, take the power off, then take this little bolt off. Then we pull out the coil unplug, out it comes. Now realize that most spark plugs are 5 eighths inch, which is what almost every car uses. But for some reason Ford went with this nutty looking spark plug and it has a 14 millimeter socket. So you gotta buy a special socket for this engine. Then you get your socket wrench and take it off. Now here's the old spark plug. We're gonna measure the gap. The width's here. It's supposed to be 40 thousandths of an inch and as you can see as we measure it, it's more like 60 thousandths so it's worn out now. So we're gonna put in eight new spark plugs. Now on these modern spark plugs, these are already coated. So you don't need to put anything on them. You just bolt them in and get them nice and snug. You get them nice and snug, then turn it just a little so it's tight. Now realize, these engine heads are made out of aluminum. So do this on a cold engine. Don't do it on a hot engine. Wait until the engine's cold. And make sure when you plug the coil on plug assembly back in, that it snaps in nice and tight. And of course, change all the other seven out so you change all eight on this V8 engine. And look what else I found. When I got to the first plug on the passenger side, you can see the coil on plugs all covered with coolant. Little radiator hose is leaking and it's shorting this out. So we're gonna change this coil on plug too. Then after all that hot and sweaty work changing the plugs, we crank her up. And let's see how she goes. No hesitation now. So the next time your car starts hesitating and shuddering while you're going down the road, why not fix it yourself? Remember, if your car has any problems, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. Before it's too late.